in light of what we've seen in Charlottesville and in Seattle and in your backyard of New York, I'd really like to get your thought on the role of narrative and the role that creating and sustaining a narrative plays around Charlottesville and Seattle and New York. What role does narrative play? Well, I mean, I, I think that as you, as anyone who consumed media over this past weekend um, soon came to realize that there's a lot of different narratives going on about the history of this company, this country, um, and the role that racism has played in, um, in this country over the years. And it was quite shocking to me to see so many people, especially on social media, saying that they can't believe this is happening, uh, that they don't know where this is coming from, the hashtag, this is not us. All of that is stands in direct denial to the narrative that has been shared by especially um, media that's being created by people of color, especially um, black media, for years and years, for decades. And so there's a real disconnect between uh, what we idealistically believe that America stands for and what actually is taking place or what's rooted in people's um, feelings about uh, diversity, feelings about issues of race, feelings about issues of class in this country. And until we are able to have honest conversations about all of that, we're going to continue to see uh, these two different narratives going on, um, you know, the um, ideology of America versus what the actual um, climate is, especially now um, emboldened by, um, quite honestly, a lot of um, our leadership um, kind of um, in allowing this kind of environment to fester and grow. 